welcome back friends so today's topic is treatment of arteries uh, you all will be knowing that arteries are used for temperature sensing inside uh, any rotating machine uh, mostly it is used in uh, stator uh, means uh, ac winding uh, motors and ac generators so in today's topic we are going to see how the rtd is fixed inside uh, the stator winding or any any winding for for the for that matter so on the screen you can see uh, this is a rtd uh, whose model is pt100 so we are not going to go into the rtd details its working its working principle uh, its construction this video will be fully focusing on how rtds are fixed inside winding and uh, this video will help you uh, to replace any rtd uh, when uh, if any rtd is found to be faulty inside any rotating machines so the only objective of making this video was uh, that when any rtd is found to be faulty inside any winding the first question comes to our mind is how we can replace the uh, faulty rtd with uh, new rtd uh, which is the cheapest method for doing so but uh, after finishing this video you will come to know that uh, replacing faulty rra rtd without replacing the winding is not possible so why this is not possible and uh, what are the procedures or what are the steps we follow uh, during installing rtd uh, we will cover up in this video so here on the screen you can see there are uh, two types of rtds uh, basically the sensor plate uh, are of uh, two different uh, lengths so the only reason for this is uh, its application so rtd is basically used in the machines where the operating temperature is greater than 130 degree celsius so let's see how this fitment procedure is done in new windings so now on your screen you can see uh, stator winding you can see that uh, this is a new rewound stator winding uh, the three basic parts are the stator core then the slot and the slot paper and the winding coils so this is the slot where the coils are inserted and these are the coils new coils and the outer portion is called as overhang so now this is a rtd what you can see on screen and the procedure is this way so this is your uh, slot core slot uh, in which and the coils are inserted so now uh, you can see in the screen this is how the rtd is inserted inside the slot here you can see the rtd is this is the way how the rtd is inserted inside the slot so basically if there are three uh, three phases ryb you can uh, insert it in any one phase or any three phase so one phase uh, will show you temperature of only one phase and inserting rtd in three phases will show you different temperatures in different phases so here you can see the rtd is manufactured in a size which is convenient for us to insert in any core slot so this is a bigger rtd here you can see even this can be inserted inside any slot any core slot so here yeah, this so basically what will happen is 
first we will put the core uh, will be covered up with the paper insulation paper then your RTD will be inserted and above that your coil your winding coil will be inserted so I'll just show you how it is done so now you can see you see this RTD is inserted inside the slot and it is done very comfortably so this goes inside the slot above that your coil sits and above that your other insulating paper will sit so this is how the RTD is inserted inside the slot the only reason why this is done RTD is inserted inside the slot is uh, because the slot is the only area of the winding where the temperature rise will be more compared to other areas so after watching this video uh, we will come we can come to know that uh, replacing a faulty RTD is not possible unless we rewind the machine so this is very clear from the video that to replace any uh, RTD we have to replace the windings so friends I hope you liked the video if there are any comments questions or suggestions please let me know in the comment box and I will try to improve the uh, the videos as wished thanks for watching have a good day thank you